everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel where we like to talk all things beauty and fragrance. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I went on vacation last week. I actually went to Door County and thought it would be a fun video on the fragrances that I wore during my trip. First, I want to give a plug out to Auto Amateur, who provided me with this cute shirt. He actually has a car a channel where he likes to talk about Porsches and he, uh, Porsche, 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 where he does renovations on his Porsche and, or I guess they're not really renovations, they're mods. James has a channel called Auto Amateur, both on YouTube and then on Instagram. His handle on uh, Instagram is auto.amateur, and on YouTube his channel is just Auto Amateur. So check him out if you're into all things Porsche, modifications on your automobile. Really cool. I've learned a lot from him, from him and his channel. Moving on. All right, so let's get into those fragrances that I wore last week. As I said, I went on a fishing trip with my family to Door County. Didn't want to pull out the big wigs for a trip like that. You know, you don't want to come in guns blaring to a fishing trip with your parents and sister and nephews. I went more lighter and casual on the fragrances. I'm going to talk about five different ones that I wore during my trip and what I wore them for. The first will be what I actually wore fishing. And that was Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I thought this was the absolute perfect fragrance for fishing. It's very light and refreshing. It's not very strong. It smells a lot like the title. It smells like beech wood with a bit of the uh, salty air, the sweetness of a breeze. It seemed absolutely apropos for fishing. A refreshing fragrance that wasn't really fighting with the other fragrances we were experiencing fishing, I will say. Wood Sage and Sea Salt is considered an aromatic fragrance for both women and men. Uh, launched in 2014, the nose behind the fragrance, Christine Nagel. The fragrance is composed of ambrette seed, sea salt and sage, along with red algae and grapefruit. For your information, the fragrance also has uh, candles, it has body lotions, body creams, hand washes. Also noted, it apparently goes really well with lime basil and mandarin or nectarine blossom and honey, also by the same brand, Jo Malone. Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone, great fragrance if you're looking for an aromatic driftwood meets ocean air type fragrance. Next thing I did a lot of is just sitting out at the dock and looking at the water. Perfect fragrance for that, being that I was donning my bikini, would be Tom Ford Sole Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. Not as strong as the fragrance itself, but still contains that Sole Blanc fragrance. Put a nice glaze and glisten over my body as I laid out in the sun. Also, the body oil gave it a bit of a sheen and um, hopefully was a bit moisturizing against the sun's drying rays. I have talked about Sole Blanc before, I will link it here. But briefly, Sole Blanc is a fragrance by Tom Ford. It's considered an amber floral for both women and men. Launched in 2016, nose behind the fragrance is Natalie Gracia Graciaceto. Top notes, pistachio, bergamot, cardamom, and pink pepper. Middle tuberose, ylang ylang, and jasmine. Base notes, coconut, amber, tonka bean, and benzoin. It's a very floral, ambery fragrance. It's strong in the ylang ylang and the tuberose. You can smell the coconut. I'd say it's a quarter coconut, two quarters floral, and then that one quarter amber. It's sweet and rich without being completely Completely overpowering. It is a stronger of a fragrance, so keep that in mind. It's not like your uh, wafty floral. It's more of a weighted floral scent. Sole Blanc by Tom Ford. Great fragrance for laying out and enjoying those sun's rays, with SPF of course. Next thing we did was go see Lambeau Field and watch a scrimmage game of the uh, Green Bay Packers. And And to that, I wore Burberry Her. Burberry Her, uh, a nice, I'd consider it a sensual fragrance. It's not overpowering. It's more of an aldehyde synthetic fragrance similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. Again, also created Francis Kirk Dijon. It's a sweeter floral fragrance, but still kind of evened out with that underlying base notes that kind of mellow it out. I've talked about Burberry Her before as well. It's launched in 2018. It's considered a floral, fruity, gourmand fragrance for women. Top notes, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin, orange, 
orange and lemon, so very fruity of those opening notes. Middle notes, violet and jasmine. Base notes, musk, vanilla, oak moss, cashmere, woody notes, amber, and patchouli. It has a very strong, fruity, sweet opening, but then a very subdued, mellow base. Burberry Hair is probably one of my most worn fragrances lately. It's an easy go-to fragrance. It's really uh, suitable for almost any situation. Maybe not those fancy, fancy nights out, but pretty much every other situation. It's great for day wear. It's great for night wear. It's great for cuddling up on the sofa. It's also great for a movie date. It'd be a very appropriate professional fragrance and for me it was the most suitable fragrance to go to Lambeau Field with my family. Nextly shopping and what fragrance would I wear for shopping? Tiffany Rose Gold. Tiffany Rose Gold, again, a brand new fragrance just recently released by Tiffany 2021. It's fresh, sweet fragrance, like if you wanna smell brand new, if you wanna smell like shopping in Tiffany's, crisp, clean, refreshing, strong on the grapefruit, but still sweet and welcoming. Tiffany Rose Gold was created by Jerome Epinette. It opens with a fresh and captivating black currant scent. The heart is that blue rose, which is a variety of hybrid between violet and Japanese rose, which adds that citric, that floral mix to the perfume and then that ambrette seed musk and iris for that mellow finish. Just side note, Tiffany Rose Gold available at Tiffany's uh, comes in both a 50 and a 75 milliliter and can be engraved for those special occasions. It's an absolute beautiful bottle if you haven't seen it. Absolute beautiful bottle with that uh, Tiffany Blue and then the beautiful Rose Gold bottle with the cut clear crystal to resemble the diamonds. Considered a floral fruity fragrance for women. Again, 2021, that was Rose Gold by Tiffany and company. And last but not least would be the dinners. The most formal thing that we did is the family dinner. And for that, I wore Born in Roma Valentino. Again, these are all my travel perfumes, so all roller balls, travel sprays, and the like, easy to travel with without the worry of breaking a bottle or losing a bottle or, you know, spilling a bottle, anything that might happen with a four-year-old. Again, that rubber roller ball with the spray, Valentino Born in Roma, a very rich, very floral, very, the heaviest perfume that I'm talking about today. It's got a strong body. Also, one of my most favorite perfumes in the designer quadrant that I found recently. Valentino Born in Roma by Valentino is considered an amber floral. It's a new fragrance launched in 2019, so I guess newer. Top notes, black currant, pink pepper, and bergamot. Middle notes, jasmine sandback, jasmine and jasmine tea. Base notes, bourbon, vanilla, cashmere, and guayac wood. Ironically, all the fragrances I'm talking about today have similar notes, so... I guess I fall within the scent family. It came out in the summer of 2019. More of a modern haute couture floriental fragrance. Valentino Donna Born in Roma is considered a couture type fragrance because of the mix of those three jasmine ingredients, flowers, and then the accords blended with the vanilla bourbon makes it one of the most expensive ingredients used in modern perfumery twisted with the cool facet of both the pink pepper and the and a, then a woody overdose. Another side note, the bottle is designed with that um, quintessential Valentino stud inspired by Roman architecture, which is the signature of Valentino Couture. So again, five fragrances that I wore for my Wisconsin trip. Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt, Burberry Her, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, Tiffany Rose Gold, and then Valentino Born in Roma. All more what would be considered designer fragrances and all a lesser price point than those niche fragrances I've been discussing lately. What are the fragrances that you guys wear for your trips when they're more casual trips, not like those formal fancy trips, but more like your family trips? What are the fragrances that you guys don? I would love to hear. Let's get that conversation started. Please comment below. Hit that subscribe button, make it turn gray. If you are new to my channel, if you are a return guest, thank you. Thank you for your loyalty. And I will see you all soon. Again, my name's Catherine. Make sure to hit that like button. It's my tip for making the video and helps me out with YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. All right, thanks y'all. I will see you all soon. Appreciate you all. Bye-bye.